Is a computer science degree really worth it in 2025? Let's talk about it. Well, let's start with salary. Do software engineers really start off with over 100K straight out of college? Let's take a look at software engineer salaries from a distribution of companies to compare big tech and non-tech salaries. Here's Google, JP Morgan, Disney, Twitch, Toyota, and Costco. From the looks of it, 100K is pretty standard for a college grad. But don't be fooled, that price point can actually be inflated by high cost of living areas like San Francisco, Seattle, New York, etc. Let's take a closer look at one of the companies by location to see if the 100K starting salary is truly accurate. Here's JP Morgan's salary by location, starting off with New York, 119,000 per year, and then Dallas, Texas, 99.6K per year, Philly, PA, 99.1K per year, and then Columbus, Ohio, 92.7 per year. What we find out here is that even a prestigious company like JP Morgan has location playing a very heavy role in how much you get paid. So you can't always start out at 100K. So if you wanna break 100K straight out of college, you'd usually have to do something like move to a higher cost of living area. Now, what about remote work? Can you really work from anywhere in most software engineering jobs? This is not true. Most software engineering jobs are hybrid or in person. It's heavily company and role dependent. For example, if you work at Tesla, You'll have to work in the office 100% of the time, whereas if you work at Reddit, there are many roles that can be completely remote, so it's really dependent on the company. Now, after hearing all this, would you say a degree in computer science is still worth it in 2025? Let me know what you think in the comments, and if you enjoy educational content like this, feel free to drop me a follow.